look at this overlook. I've got a bench seat here to set in. And look over down there. It's amazing. Climbing rail trail. Can get me a dress on. Got a picnic table. Look down there in the valley. Trail five, six, eight. That right there was private property you had to walk across. You were in the mountains after all. Entering private property, please be respectful. Look at that view. Isn't that amazing?
Well, good afternoon. The wife and I are up in the Sacramento Mountains. This little trail is just right outside of the little community of Cloud Cross. And I thought I would give it a hike. As you can see, there's snow on the ground and the temperature is about 25 degrees with the wind chill of about 15. Do you know how us diehard hikers are? We're gonna hike if we got the opportunity. Anyway, let me turn this around and show you some of these big, beautiful trees. I believe those are aspens. And they are tall. This trail just makes a loop. Anyway, I've got to put this camera away and put my glove on. This weather's cold. Hikers and bikers, you are entering a fee area. Please stay on trail through traffic only. Thank you. Huh. Well, according to all trails, I'm still on the trail, so I should be good to go. That's the way I just came. Restrooms. Just gotta be sure I stay on the trail. So the trail turns that way. Well, we're starting to go up. And I thought I lost the trail for a minute, but all trails straightened me out, and then I seen this marker. So we're going up. Okay, looking for another marker. I see footprints going up this way.
Whew. This 8,000 foot elevation, it's hard on an old man. Whew. We're steadily going up. It is beautiful in here. I'll turn this around. Camera around so y'all can see what I'm seeing. That's the way I came. Beautiful trees. Just pine trees everywhere. It's tall, tall trees. Look to the trail, I'm going to go off there to the left. All right, let's get to stepping. That's the way I came from. And here's where we go. Man, I'm breathing hard. <sighs> I'm gonna say that tree's leaning just a bit. It's a big tree. Look at that sucker. Holy smokes. That right there is one big tree. My ears got cold. Lots of widow makers in here. Whew. I wouldn't want to be here if that failed. Well, this trail follows a two track for a ways. And then it finally goes back off into the woods right here. Here's your sign. As you see, the tracks are going up the hill there. So it looks like we're gonna be going up.
as you can see, there hasn't been many people through here. That looks like I'm off trail, no wonder. There's my tracks right there. It's a beautiful valley, isn't it? Well, when I was stepping off that two track, I slept, stepped on a slick piece of ice. One leg went one way, one leg went the other. So we'll have to see. I don't feel like I heard anything. But the morning part will tell. Anyway. We're winding around in these beautiful pines. And this is a beautiful trail. Let me show you some of what I'm seeing. That's where I came from. This is where we're headed. Heading down now. Well, that's where we're headed. That's where we came from. Steady little decline there. We don't like much more having this trail knocked out. As you can see, I completed the loop. You go that direction one way, and you come out right here. 
Now this trail here just takes you right back to town. Now that was a fun little loop to do. If you're ever in Cloudcroft, this is right outside the little village there. And I mean, it's a beautiful trail. It's about four miles, I believe. I'll let you know when I finish. But it is awesome. Look at the view. It is just beautiful here. This is the trail to Cloudcroft. This is the one I came in on. This will take me to the village. There's your Pines Trail 568. And I took the Pines Trail north and made the loop. And there is a campground there that you can stay at. It's a fee. It'll cost you a fee. But uh, it's in the Lincoln Forest, I believe. National Forest. But now, that's the trail I just came down. Right here is a trail that takes you to a public parking space. So you would go to that parking lot and park your vehicle and then you would come up this trail here to start your loop that way. You would make a left. But this trail takes you to the public parking lot at the trailhead. Now this trail here that I'm walking up will take me back to Cloudcroft, right through the little village. But it goes through some private property for a little ways. And I was kind of concerned when I first started hiking because I kept seeing signs that said, turn around, private property. But my app on all trails kept showing that I was on the trail. So I kept walking and then finally I seen where other people, I seen other people's tracks. And I felt confident I was on a public trail. And then you'll see a sign at your gateway that says private property, be respectful. This has been a beautiful trail. And awesome loop. And this snow is amazing. But I'm going to put my camera away and get on back to the little apartment we're staying in and give me a cup of coffee. This is a wandering graybeard saying, get out into the woods. It's good for the body and good for the soul. And this peace and quiet is good for the mind. Adios.